CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. What are all these floaters? Once the cataracts removed, you notice all these opacities in the vitreous. Now watch carefully. Look at this. Beginning of the case. What's that? Did you see the radial wrinkles there in the lens capsule? Look at see it's wrinkling now even. That's loose zonular support. That's what that is. Now look in the vitreous now. You can see through this cataract, not too dense of a cataract. We're in Beverly Hills. Look back there. There's no opacities, right? Nothing floating around there that you can see. Now, hey, did I tell you to check out retinarounds.com or retina channel? It is amazing. You better sign up for it. Don't make me keep telling you every time. Okay, now, there's the Rexus. You can see it's a beautiful, precise 5 millimeter Rexus. Let's go to the end of the case here, removing out the lens cortex and look back there. What do you notice? Now, the cortex comes out pretty easily, cleaning up here all the little stuff on the lens capsule, but look behind the lens capsule. Look in burger space. What's all that stuff? What do you see? What is that? That is lens material. Little tiny fragments of the cataract that got broken up and go through the zonular weakness. The gaps or the looseness in the zonular support means they can go back there. Now, I'll polish up the undersurface of the anterior capsule rim here, especially in a case with loose zonular support. We don't want to have phimosis later, so let's clean that up reasonably well. And now, look at all those opacities back there. That's lens material that's going to cause some inflammation. It's not that big of a deal. They don't need a vitrectomy. It's going to dissolve away in the cascade of inflammation. Don't worry. Here comes the lens. Single piece acrylic lens going right in the capsular bag. And this is a, a one-handed injector. That's why I can use my left hand through the paracentesis to hook it and fixate the eye here. And now let's deliver the lens, get that in the capsular bag, and we'll finish up the case here. But what ends up happening in this case, and the key you saw at the beginning was there was loose zonular support. When I poked in the lens capsule for the rexus with those forceps, you saw what? You saw the radial wrinkles. And then even as we did the capsular rexus, you saw more wrinkling of the lens capsule than you should. You want that lens capsule to be tight or taut, meaning the zonular support's really nice and strong, but that's not the case here. Now, this patient doesn't have any prior trauma. This is just a patient with age, just gets some zonulopathy. Happens to some people. I don't even see any pseudo exfoliation here, which is all good for the patient. But here at the end, look back there. Yeah, in the, in the anterior hyaloid space, burger space here, we've got a little bit of lens material. So let's seal up the incision here. It's going to be fine. Patient's going to do great. But remember, this is not the same as the patient's pre-existing vitreous floaters. So here we go, lens is beautifully centered. Hey, nice looking Rexus, by the way. And now let's put in what? Saline to seal up the incision, and I'm gonna put some triamcinolone here. Not a whole lot, probably about one milligram or so, preservative-free in the anterior chamber. There it goes. And we can wash this around a little bit. So with some BSS, that's probably enough. And let's see, does it go back into the zonular gaps and into the hyaluronic space too? Maybe, maybe not, hard to see now. But at the end of the case here, let's seal up the incision, call it a day, and this patient's going to do just great. Here's another one. Now, you can see the radial keratotomy, so obviously formerly a high myope. And look at all the stuff in the anterior hyaloid, right? In burger space, behind the posterior capsule, you've got some little bit of lens material, little fragments. So there was a little bit. Not much, though. In this case, the rexus turned out to be totally normal. So I'll put in our cohesive viscological to expand the capsular bag here, and we're going to polish up the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim. Now you see those beautiful eight RK cuts. So we've got to take that into account in our lens calculations. You know, if you know how to do this, you know, you're going to have, be a lot happier. I have a video, I have many videos, but I have on Cataract Coach one called Secrets to RK Patient Lens Calculations. I will teach you the answer. Don't put a comment here on YouTube asking, well, how do you do the calculation? I've already explained it. Go to, go to the actual cataractcoach.com website, look, use the search function, look at radio keratotomy, and type in the word secrets, and I tell you all the secrets. I'm giving away all the secrets. I am democratizing surgical education for the anterior segment. We are teaching everything to everyone. There are no more secrets. I'm giving them all away. Now, end of the case here. We'll finish this up. Hey, by the way, good looking Rexus. Now we'll go underneath it, remove the uh, viscoelastic here from the capsular bag. As you can see, this is a toric EDOF lens, extended up the focus lens. So we definitely need to get this toricity lined up appropriately. So I want that lens uh, optic to sit right on the posterior capsule without a layer of viscoelastic between the two. Because I want it to adhere and to kind of stick in place. So we'll center this up and finish the case. But yeah, next time you have a patient where you got some loose zonular support, where you notice the beginning with the capsular axis, or maybe you don't even notice it, and you see little tiny lens fragment pieces falling or accumulating in that burger space behind the posterior capsule, 
in front of the anterior hyoid face, that's okay. It can happen. Put the patient on some steroids post-op. Let it resolve. It'll be fine. Just watch your patient carefully in the post-op period, and patients will be happy. So end of the case, you know, seal it up, call it a day. Remember, do me a favor. Just sign up for the daily Cato Coach email. Sign up for the daily Retin Arounds email. You'll learn a lot. This is free education. I teach you more than your professors ever did.